Hello and welcome back to another Diecast Weekly Video. Today we're going to take a look at my Hong Kong order from it for international cars. Um, normally I do collect American stuff, um, mainly Greenlight and you know, Diecast Masters, stuff like that. But I decided to take a look at some um, different brands here that do have some interesting castings, some interesting cars, and are supposed to be 164 scale. So we are going to be putting that to the test here, seeing if these are actually 164 scale. And... You know, comparing them to green light and seeing if they can work in my diorama, which I am hoping they are. This comes from two companies, mainly Tiny City, which is this company right here. They do make 164 and 176 scale die cast vehicles, mainly from uh, the Asian market. So you have Macau, um, Hong Kong, and China. I think they do a little bit of Taiwan and Malaysia as well. Um, and also one car from Tomika, which is um, a Japanese company there, just for fun. We are going to take a look at most of these today. I am going to showcase them all to you in the box, and then we'll be taking a few out the packet in today's video just to make sure that they are 164 scale, and then I may be opening up a few in the later videos. Um, most of these are going to have um, left hand drive, or sorry, right hand drive. So it is going to be, you know, a little weird looking at, you know, my diary and I having mostly left hand drive vehicles, um, but I think it will do, and um, I think it's going to be cool to take a look at a new company here and see what they got. So we're going to start off here. Uh, this is the BMW i3 Race Director. This is a member exclusive, actually, so nothing you're going to see in the States very often here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep, hold on to this yet, but I just thought it was unique, and I think it's a pretty cool little car here. They do have a non-member uh, exclusive that is actually the medical car, which I think is a little bit more cooler. I think more people would like a medical car than a Race Director car, but... No, that's pretty cool. This actually is going to be staying in the box today. Uh, next, we have the Toyota Prius for the Macau Airport. And we opened up this one today. One I've kind of uh, had an eye on. I don't have a Toyota Prius in my collection. I do like that it does come with a little light on top. So I'm probably going to remove the decaling here and just make it, you know, just a Prius um, that you would see in the Americas. Next year, we have a, uh, another pretty round. This is from actually Toy yes, something like that. This is from Bok Sang, which is a logistics company, I believe, in Hong Kong. But I do really like this little van here. Um, I do like vans, you know, collecting vans. I do have a few green light vans, but of course, you know, they're just those big, heavy transit vans like that. Um, I do want to see, you know, this little, I think it's a Mitsubishi van. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure, but we are going to be taking a look at this one. It was about $17, a little bit expensive, but... I just really want to see if this um, is to scale, and hopefully it is. And I think it'll look great in my diorama because who is going to know what boxing is, you know, unless you're a logistics person. Anyways, we're going to take a look at another transporter here. It's the Hong Kong AFCD transporter. It does have a cool um, back that opens up. It does have a sliding door as well, so I thought that would be pretty cool to maybe pose um, some figures there. And yeah, pretty cool there. Um, again, this is Tomica, just for fun. This is from an anime, I don't know, I don't watch anime, or a manga, I don't, I don't know, I don't watch that stuff, it's from Initial D, so I do appreciate that car, I have seen that a little bit, Hot Wheels released a Hot Wheel of this one, uh, exclusively in Japan, that's pretty rare, so I just want to check it out, you know, see what Tomika is all about, and I think it'd be, you know, a cool car to add, just add to the collection, not really realistic for any of my dioramas. And here are the uh, Mitsubishi Pajero 2015 local bike, it's pretty cool, it comes with the bike on top, just like that. You know, just unique stuff you don't see here every day in the States, you know. I think I would add some value to my collection. And honestly, the main thing that I came here for was this um, Isuzu um, N-Series box lorry truck. I really wanted that Isuzu box lorry truck. You do see a lot of Isuzu um, box trucks in the States, actually. Um, they still do sell box trucks in the States. So I want to get one, even though it will be um, the wrong hand drive. Yeah, I think it still be cool to look at. We'll be taking this out of the package. Um, and also got a Hino 3, 300 box lorry. These are a little bit different, of course. You have different brands. Uh, but mainly just came here for the Isuzu. And, you know, of course, how it is with me if I go on eBay for one thing and the seller is selling a bunch of other stuff, I'm probably going to come away with more than just a box lorry truck. But we are going to take a look at the uh, lorry truck first. I'm hoping this is going to be one of the CZ4 scale. We are going to compare it. These all do come in plastic wrapping, so it's kind of interesting how they do it there. So you know you're the first one to get your hands on the model. Let's 
take a look, slide this out here. And here is the box lorry truck. It does come um, with a few little implements that you can put on right here. So I believe it's a refrigerator, um, refrigeration unit, um, and different stuff like that. Um, you know, something you would see in box vans. I'll be messing with that a little bit later, adding a little bit more detail. But for now, I'm really just worried about the scale, making sure the scale is up to par. But here we have the box van here, guys. Very cool. Just a white, blank um, look to it. But, I mean, that's a ton of detail, man. I mean, this did cost me $30, so pretty expensive. But, I mean, for the detail you get, I mean, that's, that looks pretty good. That looks like a real deal right here. Not a fan of these very delicate uh, wind, uh, rearview mirrors here. Or not rearview mirrors, mirrors. Um, you know, I'm not a fan. These can break off so easily, so I have to be very, very careful with that. Did I not break those off? I'm a more big of a fan of um, you know green lights or DCPs um, uh, mirrors. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Um, this door does not open, but this one does. It actually folds down. Just like that, and you can actually open up these doors and simulate uh, delivery going on, which is pretty cool. I'm not going to do that just because you know it's hard for me to do it on my camera and it's you know not so good of lighting. Um, but I will be definitely showing you guys that in another video. Rolls perfectly. I'm going to get a figure now and see if this works for scale. We are back with two little figures here. One is from Greenlight and one is from American Diorama. The Greenlight one does look... Hmm. A little big, maybe. Maybe just a little bit, tad too big. It is hard to, hard to tell. And here is the American Diorama one, so... Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, do you think this is going to be to scale, or... I think it's gonna be a little bit too big. I think you could pull it off with American Diorama, you know, see this guy opening up the um, truck here and climbing on in. You know, I think it's pretty, reali pretty realistic. A little bit of headspace there, but otherwise I think I think I can pull it off, so. Yeah, I do not, unfortunately, do not have any other box trucks to compare it to, compare it to a van here. This van definitely does look pretty big. Hmm. Still, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I definitely do need your opinions because I do not work with any of these box vans. So it's hard for me to say. Well, I think that looks pretty good, actually, compared to an you know, SUV box van. I mean, it's not a, it's not a DCP truck or anything like that. A semi here. Of course, it's not going to be as big as a semi. This guy's going to climb up in a semi, but he can just hop in his little van here. So... Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I think it is, it's decent. Um, I have had issues in the past, especially with Era Car. I'm not a fan of Era Car, which is another, you know, foreign company that their um, stuff is not 60, one to 64 scale at all. They'll say it's one to 64 scale. It's not even close. Like, stop playing with me. It is pretty annoying. But I think Tiny City so far is pulling away with, with almost getting it close to one to 64 scale, which I am saying is the um the main scale people are worried about scale you know people who collect hot wheels you really think people that collect hot wheels care about scale i doubt it because they're not really collecting for the realism they're collecting you know just that, that's just you know what they collect but for green light people they care about scale they want to make dioramas dcp people that care about scale they want to make dioramas so i think that they should be the ones who are the judges of what is to scale and what is not Alrighty, here we have our Prius, packaged in a little bag, a little bit differently here. I'll slide this guy out. Alrighty, and here we have our Prius. These doors do actually open, which is pretty cool. Got the light bar on top. Doors open like that. So you can simulate a ton of stuff. The back license plate, of course, is from Macau. 
And overall, I think it is pretty cool. I think it is the scale. Put next to an SUV here. Some plastic on. Oops, couldn't see that. Um, yeah, put it next to this uh, Chevrolet here. It looks pretty good. We get our figurines, which I'm not sure where I put them. Where did I put them? Oh, there we are. Figurines. I think it may be... I don't know, is it Prius this big, guys? Yeah, I think it's that big. Yeah, I think it is per scale. Looks pretty good. Definitely could blend in. We're not that picky. Awesome looking Prius here. It's, you know, it's a little thing. So I love the light bar on top. It can do a lot of things for me, my dioramas, and I'm probably going to take that McAllen International Airport off at some point. But yeah, otherwise than that, I think it's the scale. I think it looks pretty good. And yeah, moving on to the next deal here. We're going to take a look at this box saying logistics uh, van. Um, I'm not seeing what the actual model is. Of course, it did say when I bought it, but I'm not really remember. We're, we're going to find out. I think it may be Mitsubishi or something like that. Um, this is actually a exclusive, so that's why it cost me $17. More on the expensive side. Um, but you're going to have to pay a premium if you are paying it from the States. Just how it is. Um, Any more clean here? Alrighty, let's take this guy out. Hopefully there's a scale as well. Having pretty good luck so far. Definitely am impressed. Like I have an extra layer of um, plastic here, so I'm not scratching it on the box. The layout. And here we have, oh, it's a Nissan van. That makes more sense. I do remember that. Nissan van here for Bok Sang Logistics. Now, of course, in my diorama, it won't be a logistics company. It'll probably just be, you know, just a van. You see a lot of little vans in the road. Just be a van. But uh, yeah, a lot of detail in here. You have Bok Sang. There's a website right there. Phone number, license plate, which is, of course isn't going to be realistic to my diorama. But, oh, it is what it is. I'll step over the camera. This back looks like it does open up. I'm not surprised if it will, and it actually does. And boom, it does open up. You do have a little bit of detail inside. Of course, it is hard to see with my bad lighting, but being able to look towards the light, looks like you have some toolboxes in there. You know, you can you can simulate a ton of stuff with this. You can simulate people loading in, loading in stuff into the back, and it looks great. So yeah, extra feature there, pretty cool. Snaps right back in place, and looks like a pretty cool van. Um, comparing it to a figure, of course, we're going to be able to do that. Maybe a little bit on the smaller side, actually. And, you know, it's not made by Tiny, so you can give a little bit of lenience there. You know, I'm not really sure what company made this. Hmm. Yeah, a little bit on the smaller side, I'd say. Let me know what you guys think. You know, these Greenlight vans are pretty huge. You see them in real life. They are pretty big, so... Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Is this, is this one the 64 scale? Let me know. Um, man, glad I got it with the shot. Definitely a cool Nissan van already. Um, now we're going to be taking a look at um, one more thing, and then we're going to be done for the video. We're going to take a look at this T6 transporter. Um, take this one out of the package as well. So Volkswagen transport, the door just opened up, side door opens up on this one, so you can simulate a lot with this. She's back in 59 sticker there. I'm trying to take this out of the box. Stuck in there pretty well. Alrighty, we can finally got that guy out. Stuck in there pretty well. 
And here we have our transporter. So this one is, to be honest, looking a little bit small for me. Do you have that? Um, Lettering on the back there just does open up. So there's a side door. I'm pushing the lever right there. That's a cool feature. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I think this one's a little bit small, guys. I mean. I don't know. You guys think that's small? Might be a little bit small. But, uh. Yeah, I do have a light on top. Average looking van. Some seating in the back, which is pretty cool. And. Um. Some stuff in the back here. I'm not really sure what you would call that, but looks pretty cool. All right, so a little bit, maybe a little bit small on this one, but together I think they do look pretty good. And same deal with our box lorry and our Prius. We'll take the Prius back. And yeah, so let me know what you guys think about this um, unboxing so far. We'll be saving the Mitsubishi and the uh, Pajero and the Initial D uh, Tomica car for another video and yeah we take a look at those in an, at another time but otherwise pretty cool here I do you think this prius is pretty big though i mean uh what's this what's the scale guys you think the van's the scale or you think this big prius is let me know in the description below other than that thank you for watching us see you all in the next video